Hi, my name's James Robbins. I'm Product Development Manager for ABU and I want to introduce to you the new ABU 706 Closed Face Reel. I'm fishing today at East Stoke on the River Trent and I'm going to put this new reel through its paces. First of all, I want to take you through some of the key features relating to this new reel. The reel itself is developed using the same kind of design as the original Abu 506, the famous reel from the 70s and the 80s. So it's similar in size and design. A major difference is the actual construction of the body, which is actually made from graphite, which is a lot lighter than the original uh, stainless steel version. Apart from that, you'll notice that the design is pretty much the same. You've still got the same rotor design with the pickup pin. In this case, we're just using a, a single pickup pin, which we find is much more reliable than the twin pickup pin that we've used in the past. Again, you've got the similar plastic spool. And one major feature that we've done to improve the functionality of this is to drill some holes in. Now that sounds very simple, but what it actually does is it helps to eliminate the line being sucked behind the spool during fishing. Now this can be a problem with closed face reels where the line gets tangled up around the mechanism inside the reel. So that's one of the key features that helps reduce it. Another one is the fact that we've used chenille again on the plastic spool. So inserted into the front and rear of the spool is a length of chenille that will stop the line from blowing back and catching and tangling around the reel. We've gone back to the original brass centre pinion which is much harder wearing than the aluminium one. And we've actually got an instant anti-reverse switch that's situated very conveniently on top of the handle stem. So quite simply that means that you can fish uh, with the anti-backwind on or to enable you to backwind freely. Quite a lot of people with this style of reel actually like to backwind to play the fish rather than use the drag. So that's the, the main reason for having that conveniently placed there. Now we have actually developed a nice smooth drag system for the reel as well, which we've nicknamed Synchro Drag. So you can actually adjust the drag on the reel. And when the reel is in the anti-reverse position, you simply pull the lever back to engage the drag. So it has actually got a very smooth drag incorporated into this reel as well. Now, to sell with the reel, we included this nice reel case, and the reel's actually supplied with three spare shallow spools. So you get three shallow spools with the reel, and you also get one deep capacity spool as well. Now the shallow spools take 100 meters of our 18 millimeter line, which is absolutely bang on for the kind of float fishing that these reels are designed for. So I was now going to explain some of the key benefits in using a closed face reel against an open face reel for float fishing. So the biggest advantage of using a closed face reel such as this is float fishing on rivers. The fact that you've got a push button release instead of a bail arm means that you can actually operate the reel one handed. So when you're catching lots of small fish on a stick float or a waggler, it's extremely easy to operate and also manage the line. Now the engage on the bail arm as well is extremely smooth. So just by turning the handle, you engage the bail arm and you're connected to the fish. So for trotting, floats on rivers, the closed face reel is by far the easiest reel to master. It's also very important to note that when you've got tough conditions, like when it's very windy like today, a closed face reel will help reduce the number of tangles you get. Because of the fact that the spool is hidden inside the reel, it prevents line from wrapping around the reel and tangling. 
So it really is a hassle-free reel for float fishing on rivers. Just wanted to give you a couple of tips to think about when you're using a closed face reel. One of them, which people often make the mistake of, is overfilling the reel. Now I actually underfill my spools for my closed face reels. In this case, I've just got 80 meters of 016 line on. And what this does do is it pretty much eliminates any chance of the line getting tangled or bedding in and causing problems during fishing. It's quite common for people to fill it up like you would with an open face reel, and that's a recipe for disaster. So that's something I must emphasize, is don't put too much line on the reel. The other thing that will help with, which can be a bit of a disadvantage with closed face reels, is it actually reduces the amount of line bedding in on the spool. So if you are catching a few better fish, and you're playing the fish, the line can bed in. So if you've only got 60 or 80 meters of line on it, you're less likely to have these problems. So that's a really important point to consider when you're thinking about closed face reels. So, sounds simple, but I thought I'd just explain how to actually set up your new Abu 706 reel. First thing you need to do is take the outer housing off. And then you've got the actual rotor here. Now, it's important to note that there's a gear lock situated here on the right hand side of the reel. To remove the rotor easily and effectively, you just press the button, and that means that the rotor will unscrew very easily without damaging any of the gears. So, take your line off the spool and then screw the rotor back on. Now you need to ensure that you screw it on nice and tight. So I'd ensure that the drag's well done and then I'd tighten the rotor against the drag. So you can see now the drag's working but more importantly the rotor is nice and secure so it won't come loose when you're fishing. And then it's just a matter of simply passing the line back through the housing and putting the housing back on. So there you go. The line comes from the front of the reel and by pressing the release button, the line's free. So that's like opening the bail arm on your reel. And then just to simply engage the bail arm, turn the handle and you're back in business. So it really is a very, very simple process and a very simple reel, but one that takes a little bit of getting used to if you've never used one before. So as I mentioned, the closed face reel found massive favour with stick float anglers in the past and still used quite exclusively in some cases today. The fact that the reel is so compact and easy to use when stick float fishing is its biggest advantage. As you can see, it's easy to control the float with the finger. And everything's automatic, it's like a one-handed operation. So it both saves time and makes trotting floats much, much easier. I'm having to use quite a long rod today, a 17-foot rod. And it's a six number four stick float because the wind's affecting this peg quite badly. So as I mentioned, when trotting on a river with a stick float or a waggler, closed face reels make the operation so much easier. The fact that you can operate the bail arm single-handedly means you can constantly be in touch with the float, engaging, disengaging. When you do hook a fish, the process is so smooth that you don't bump the fish off. That can be a problem when you're using an open face reel when the actual bail arm clonks over and knocks the fish off in that critical moment. So it just shows you, I've been catching a few small roach and it looks like I got myself a decent chub. So even though 
closed face reels like this 706 are designed for catching small fish quickly, they still will handle bigger fish like this chub. Hey, there we go. Not a problem. What a nice chub that is. And what a bonus that would be in a match. So there you go, decent chub around about three to four pound. Taken with light balanced tackle and using the new Abu 706 closed face reel. Just goes to show that this reel isn't only designed for catching small fish, that's its forte. It will handle catching bigger fish such as this chub or barbel. Just take your time and you should be able to land fish just like that. So in conclusion, I hope that highlights some of the key features relating to this new 706 reel and also how to use a closed face reel. This reel retails for less than £80, that includes the reel case and three spare spools. And if you're a keen stick float fisherman, river fisherman or silverfish angler, I suggest you go out and have a look. Thanks a lot.